I got my first drum show now. It's on my third or fourth birthday. I play drums a lot. Started playing a lot when I got back from radiation in fifth grade. So I kind of memorized how well the drums sound before I lost my fever. I was like six years old. And I don't really think I understood when my parents told me when I was. I thought it was just a name for my leg or something. I didn't understand that it was like tumors growing on my body and brain and stuff. When they asked us if he had neurofibromatosis when he first started exhibiting symptoms, I didn't even know what that was. So um, and after a series of scans, MRI, some very tests that were very unpleasant, um, they, after some time, were able to find a tumor in his lower spine on his left sciatic nerve, and that is what was causing his foot drop in his left leg. And they asked us if he had neurofibromatosis, and that was the first time anyone had ever said that word to us. The very general way is to describe it as it's a genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow on nerves throughout the body. That's the very kind of broad, if you Google it, that's the definition that they give. Individuals with NF, half the time, you know, they inherit it from a parent, and the other half the time, I think they call it spontaneous which seems to be the case with Nicholas because Peter and I don't have it. The same doctor that did the tumor removal from uh, his spine did the, uh, the procedure to go in and, and take the, uh, the tumor out of uh, his cerebellum. And um, it was a fairly long procedure. And, you know, it's the other part is like the worst is the, you know, none of these procedures are less than four and five hours. Um, but sitting in that, you know, waiting room for for hours upon hours, you know, knowing that, uh, knowing that Nick's on the table, you know, it's like one of the hardest things to go through. We covered from that surgery and then we got the pathology results back and it turned out that it was uh, malignant. The recommendations from the doctor at that point were to uh, put him through radiation therapy. I started having to get tons of surgeries all the time. I started to realize that I was a lot different than everybody else. I really had a really nice friend. She really got a checking on me and making me feel included and stuff. I'm making sure they're not going to do anything that could hurt me or something. So these are called um, Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds. They're a pretty cool pair. I bought this uh, when I got back from my surgery. When I was in fifth grade, I had a brain surgery. And basically, after they took it out, they wanted to give me radiation, so I had to do two months of proton beam radiation, and I had to wear this mask right here. I wanted it to be like a character. I wanted to be drawing characters, so they would get it in boiling water, and they pressed it down on my face to mold it into my face, which is kind of, it, it wasn't very really comfortable, but it was kind of cool. I'm going to try to rock out anyway, and he's going to try and play a song here uh, with some of his buddies, and we'll see how it goes. Usually I'm wearing the hat of promoting awareness, you know, and trying to explain to people what it is, but it's a, it takes time. And quite often people will say, oh, how's it going, you know? And um, in my brain, I usually pause right there for a second, and I think, oh, do I really want to get into it, you know? And um, uh, quite often I'll say, oh, everything's great. But in terms of actually talking about feelings and uh, kind of what we're going through, uh, we're not always maybe very open about that. It would be a lie if I said that everything was just, you know, uh, uh, rosy, you know, uh, inside the household. 
My parents often travel with my brother when he's having surgeries and everything. Honestly, I feel like at first there was an order. Like, I just would be completely caught up in why are my parents leaving me? Why, why do I have to do this all by myself? Because I was doing music and varsity sport and I was just starting out like freshman year alone was hard, but if it weren't for like the friends and like my boyfriend Quinn, his family, everyone I know is always checking in, making sure I'm okay. Typically, Peter, Nick, and I stick together, and you know, our poor daughter Chloe is usually at home with the house sitter. She started her freshman year at a new school. Brother was going into brain surgery. Being home alone, you know, she didn't have the normal support from her parents that her peers at the same school had. Nikki does have significant chronic pain. Um, again, it's something that kind of gradually progressed. I feel like after every surgery, his pain gets a little worse. And now we're at a point where we're trying to manage it so that he can sleep through a night, which he doesn't do. Growing up, I always had this like, it didn't feel real yet. Cause I feel like with at least Nick's case, it just like snapped my fingers and all of a sudden all these things are changing. like his walk and his hearing and just all kinds of random things, like even his personality sometimes. And it, it didn't really feel real to me because he, he looked healthy, like when he was a kid. I feel like I took for granted, like the times playing outside with Nick and playing music with Nick. And now I feel really, really aware, like the fact that you never know what's gonna happen with him. Nicholas would get like showered with gifts and love and attention and of course he deserved it and I I completely support that like he deserves everything in the world. There was this underlying like jealousy that I always felt and guilt kind of that came with that. Um, and I think that I didn't really have anyone that I could talk to about it because it's like a rare it's a rare thing and. I just think it's important for other siblings to know that it's like the jealousy is okay and like you matter too. And it's no one's fault. It's just that it can be really hard sometimes and you feel really left out. All of the opportunities he has for the best care in the world you know, I just really struggle with how difficult it is to get that care for him. And I really often think about other families a lot. You know, we live across the street from uh, a thousand plus acres of state trust land. And so I'll let him go out there and, and do a few loops. I want to show people that people that I can do the same as people out there. 